What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning into Living in Jacksonville. I'm Avery. What's your name? Charlie. And Charlie, what is your favorite thing about living in Surf City? My favorite thing is a beach. The beach. And what do you like about the beach? Swimming in the water. Uh huh. That is a lot of people's favorite part. What else do you like about the Surf City area? My favorite part is getting ice cream sometimes. Where do you get ice cream? At the, at the new ice cream place. What's it and called? Do you remember? Celtic. Celtic Creamery. It's the best ice cream on the island. All right, guys. So today we are discussing the lifestyle in Surf City, North Carolina. And really what we're talking about is what are the things to do? Where are you going to go grocery shopping? How are you ultimately going to live in Surf City, North Carolina? What do the locals do on a daily basis to make it such a great place to live? Let's hop into it. But before we get into it, a word from our sponsor. And my favorite part about living in my whole entire house is, is being with my whole family. With your family? That's awesome. This is an extremely family friendly uh, area. You'll notice that, you know, even the breweries, even the restaurants, right? Like everybody's bringing out their entire family, whether it's mom and dad, uh, you know, in laws, or, you know, just their kids and whatnot. It is a relatively young area, uh, but you also get both sides of it. So you get the retirees and, you know, people that are vacationing and such. So the first thing that I wanted to lay out for you guys is the proximity to the major highway. So Surf City, really the main way to get into Surf City is gonna be either Highway 50 or 210, right? Both stem off of Highway 17, which is gonna be your main bloodline going from Wilmington to Jacksonville and everywhere in between or beyond. Now 50 and 210, as you can see here on the map, intersect and this these plazas right here on these four corners are essentially it's going to be the majority of your shopping and your dining like that kind of thing right but like your daily essentials is going to be right here in these four corners so this immediate area has a food line it has a Publix it has a neighborhood Walmart so it's just your groceries and stuff it's not the super Walmarts you get in like Wilmington or Jacksonville and up the road you also have a Harris Teeter which is a bit bigger fancier uh, grocery chain but also in like these four corners in these plazas, you get some restaurants, you get Surf City Barbecue, you have Shuck and Shack, uh, you have a Pet Supplies Plus, right? So like all of your shopping and things that you need on a daily basis are right here in these four corners. Now moving on, and in addition to like all of the groceries and you know, the main shopping and stuff right there at the four corners, you also have, you know, your dentist offices. You also have, um, you know, a couple attorneys, you have an eye doctor, right? Like a couple uh, private practice um, physicians and doctor's offices and stuff. So, you know, while you're not going to get your main ER centers, there is an urgent care in Surf City. There are, you know, your primary care doctors. You can, you know, benefit from the close proximity there. You will need to get into Hampstead, Wilmington, or Jacksonville the other way to get some of your bigger uh, hospitals and things like that. But that's how most of us would prefer it. We prefer you know, our lifestyle to be a little bit more quiet, laid back, right? And um, we don't mind driving to some of the things that we're going to go to less often. So if you frequent the doctor's office, maybe your uh, health is not, you know, the best that it's ever been, um, you will need to drive a little bit. So something to think about if you're moving to the Surf City area, part of the lifestyle is just kind of being near the water and uh, a little bit quieter, a little bit more slow pace. And yeah, that does mean that your hospitals and you know big centers like that are gonna be a little bit further away. Now, moving further south down 50, you do come across more shopping centers, uh, more things to do. You know, we're looking at breweries and distilleries and you know, putt putt golf, things like that, right? But moving down onto the island, so you come up over the bridge onto the island, uh, you know, right around the roundabout is a convenience store. So if you're ever out having a beach day or maybe you just live on the island and you need some essentials, right? Like maybe a case of beer or some chips or whatever, right? There's a convenience store that you can pop in at, get out within, you know, two, three minutes and uh, hop back onto uh, the beach and do whatever you need to do. Additionally, there are souvenir shops and things. So like if you need your 
your uh, beach essentials, you know, beach toys, things like that, maybe umbrellas or chairs, you know, you can go to those souvenir shops and just pick it up and go. There's also some sporting goods stores uh, like East Coast Sports, or maybe if you uh, shoot down the road a little bit to Herrings, you can get your fishing supplies, you can get clothing, you can get shoes, you can get muck boots, you can get coolers and sunglasses and everything that you're gonna need for a day out on the boat, fishing, on the pier, you know, on the beach, whatever you need. Shopping is, um, you know, not really an issue in the Surf City area. There's plenty of places to get what you need to get. The one downside is you don't have your targets. You don't have Walmart Supercenter. You don't have the those big box stores that you would get in Wilmington or uh, Jacksonville. So yes, you will need to travel about 25 to 30 minutes to those big box stores. But Hampstead is developing very rapidly. Uh, and with you know the bypass being built and whatnot, they are planning on including more stores. And so maybe that will come with your big box stores. So moving on to your dining and kind of things to do in the area, um, you know, tons of great restaurants, whether it's on the island or on mainland on uh, the north side of the bridge or south side of the bridge. And Charlie, what is your favorite restaurant in Surf City? My favorite restaurant in Surf City, Buddy's. You like Buddy's? What do you like at Buddy's? You eat a lot of the seafood at Buddy's, huh? So Buddy's on the island in Surf City is a locals only restaurant, right? That's what they advertise. They're not gonna kick anyone out if you're a vacationer or whatever, but it is a seafood joint, uh, Buddy's uh, Crab and Oyster Shack. It's phenomenal. It's right there on the water. The one thing I will uh, mention is that it's a bar scene. And so, you know, people, there is an outdoor section of the bar, so people can smoke there at the bar. So if you don't like that, if you don't want that, then Buddy's might not be the restaurant. I know the first time we went, we were very shocked that um, people were smoking. But it is what it is. You get great views. You get great seafood. I had the steamer plate the other day, and this girl ate uh, basically all of my oysters, didn't you? And, you know, so Buddy's is great. Daddy Max is great. That's another one overlooking the pier. Actually, I ate everything on your plate. You ate just about everything on my plate. We love Shaka Taco, that's a little taco joint, but there's also like Marguerite's, there's Max's Pizza, there's, uh, you know, some more seafood places. There's like Maine Lobster right there uh, next to Soundside Park. There's a lot of restaurants right there in Surf City that, that you can go to. And during peak season, yeah, it can get busy, but you know, that's June, July, August, right? The rest of the year, so the remaining nine months out of the year, uh, I wouldn't say you get them the restaurants and stuff to yourself, but it's a lot less packed than those three months. So while it's kind of annoying at times that you get vacationers, you also get to benefit from the, the beauty and the peace and the restaurants and this whole scene by yourself the rest of the nine months. And in my opinion, absolutely worth it. And in addition to all of the restaurants and such, there's really cool bar scenes like Scallywags. There's really cool, uh, you know, breweries like Salty Turtle or a distillery called uh, Hidden Ships. Um, there's a lot of good drinking places, a lot of good beers in the area, um, and a lot of like local seafood joints as well, like Sears Landing, which is uh, right on the north side of the bridge. Sears Landing is overlooking the intercoastal, so really the water is our lifestyle around here, and Surf City does a great job of basing all of the restaurants, all of the businesses around the water. And then, one of the local secrets, as Charlie mentioned earlier, her favorite ice cream joint is Celtic Creamery, uh, right on the island. It's one of the best ice cream places, in my opinion, in the area. They hand whip, you know, hand make their ice cream. And um, my favorite ice cream there is their uh, Irish pecan. Um, phenomenal. I don't know if it's a seasonal thing or if, uh, you know, it's there year round, but um, Charlie, what is your favorite ice cream there at Celtic? My favorite one is, is the birthday cake. The birthday cake, I know, you get that every time. Either way, whatever kind of ice cream you like, Celtic has it, and it's hand whipped, hand battered, like phenomenal ice cream. 
And if you are visiting the area and you stop into Celtic, let them know that Avery and Charlie sent you uh, and you got to try their, um, their pecan Irish cream uh, or their birthday cake. But they have a lot more. They have cookie dough and everything else. But with that, the scene, the bar scene, the restaurant scene, the ice cream, you know, it's incredible uh, in the area. So if you're looking for some cool spots, you know, hit me up. I'll give you my favorites. Um, but we kind of discussed them, right? So Shaka Taco, Daddy Max, uh, we love buddies. Um, there's, you know, some sub places. There's pizza places. JT, or uh, I'm sorry, Max's Pizzas is really, really good right across from Soundside Park. But that sort of transitions me into the things to do around the Surf City area. There's so much to do, and especially for the kiddos. If you're not making a day out on the beach or maybe on the boat, uh, if you have your own boat, you know, you can bring the kids to Soundside Park. Um, it's a great park, you know, it's pretty big. A lot of kids go there and enjoy it and it overlooks the water. So a lot of the parents can at least relax and whatnot there. Um, but also at Soundside Park, they throw events all the time. Uh, so they'll set up vendors. Uh, there's something called Sip Shop and Stroll where they have vendors that sell their local goods, uh, whether it's jewelry, or just little knickknacks and stuff that they make and sell. They also have music on the Soundside Park stage that uh, you know everybody kind of gets up and dances to and just enjoys a good time. There's also local artists or cover bands that play at a lot of the restaurants or the bars. So you know if you're ever hungry one night, you're likely going to go to a restaurant and you're going to be able to see some good music. But also there's trivia nights, there's uh, line dancing lessons, there's so many things that you can do just out and about at a restaurant, stumble upon something, um, but a lot of great things. In addition to what's on the island, on mainland in Surf City, there's also the Surf City Community Center that has baseball fields, it has a soccer field, football field. They are currently in the process of building more uh, at the community center. So like a skate park is going in. They're doing more athletics uh, fields and facilities. They have a dog park and a playground there. So uh, as well as walking paths and stuff. So if you're ever just bored and you wanna bring the dog to the dog park or bring the kids to the fields, you can certainly do so. Or if you are a skateboarder or a BMXer, uh, you could go to the, the skate park and uh, enjoy that. But another big thing to do around here is to rent either the jet skis or the tritunes or the pontoons. There are boat rentals uh, in the area like Aquaholics or Sur Surf City boat rentals or Surf City jet ski rentals. And you can rent them. You can go out in the intercoastal, have a great time, rent them for, you know, five hours or nine hours. Um, you know, stop at a sandbar, just enjoy the weather, enjoy the water. A lot of people do like to stop at a sandbar and let the grandkids or the kids out on the sandbar because you don't get the waves that you get from the ocean. Uh, it's all the intercoastal. So while they're not gonna go deep swimming or anything, you don't have to worry about them getting swept up by a wave because the water is pretty calm. But yeah, the water around here is the lifestyle. So if you are not a water fan, then this is not gonna be the area for you. But also breweries, distilleries, food, massive drink and food scene around here. Um, but there is more being built around the area. There's gonna be an arcade and a bowling alley uh, that is coming in 2025. So that's going to be right on 50 and that is going to be a awesome little spot to uh, basically go bowling and you know play some arcade games and do that kind of thing while you're out in town. But a lot of people will get a longboard, they will get a um, electric bike and they'll just cruise around and you know get some exercise in and you know hang out with their friends on the water or by the water or on the beach or you know at a restaurant go out to dinner with each other listen to some like a live band and you know that kind of thing so it's a phenomenal area phenomenal scene it's great for the kids everything is everyone is super friendly um and and that's about it for the things to do right like there's so many things to do but you gotta kind of look for it and you know it depends on what you're feeling that day but the majority of the activities are uh right on the water in addition to all those things that you can do with the kids like the parks and you know playgrounds and uh, you know, all the water sports and that kind of thing. You can also get kids to participate in some of the learning camps. Like there's summer camps that uh, Charlie's gonna be attending this summer, learning about, you know, sharks and turtles and fish and 
uh, stingrays. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing that you're gonna be learning about this summer at some of these camps? You gonna be learning about anything? I don't think so. <laughs> I got it all. There's, there's a place here in Surf City. Uh, I don't remember the exact name of it. I'll put it on the screen here. Um, but it's like a paint party thing and the kids can go and have themed parties. Um, you know, there was a Bluey theme, there was Under the Sea. She's gonna be participating in this little uh, class coming up um, this coming week. You know, <laughs> lots of things that kids can learn about. She's also participating in some, you know, homeschool classes that are gonna be learning about the water and respecting nature and, you know, manatees and, you know, learn about sharks and that kind of thing. There's the um, Karen Beasley Sea Turtle uh, Hospital, which is really fun thing to bring the kids to. And you're always meeting new turtles and learning new things about the aquatic life in the area. But, you know, something for everybody here in the area. So whatever it is you're looking to do, you aren't going to go bored. It's certainly not clubbing by any stretch of the imagination. You're not doing any of that like you would in some of the big cities and stuff. You're not even really gonna get that in Wilmington or Jacksonville, but it is very laid back. It's a small, um, old fishing town, uh, you know, from the 50s. And the locals prefer to keep it that way, right? It's rapidly growing and expanding, but we prefer to keep it slow. We prefer to uh, live the slower lifestyle um, and just enjoy each other's company, the good weather, the nature, the beaches, the water, so on and so forth. And so. If you think that Surf City could be a place for you, reach out to the phone number and email address on the screen. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Tell the people bye. Say thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>